Hey guys, welcome to my home. Hi there. Well, I just moved in this year. It took a while for me to build the entire home. I, I really took part in the entire process of building the home. Um, this is my, I think, fourth home that I built. I moved in in August and uh, I've been living here ever since. It's good to mind, everything's practically fit. So for me, the most important people in my life are my parents. So when we first moved into this house, there was only one room that was uh, completely done, and that was my parents' room. And their, my parents' room, I built it here on the ground floor para hindi sila mahirapan to go up all these stairs that you'll see. Kasi four floors yung bahay. Um, How old are your parents? My dad's 77 and my mom is 73. I shouldn't be saying that because my mom will kill me. But... <laughs> Yeah. But I'm sure they don't look like much. They don't look. They don't look like they're over 70 years old, because um, they're very happy. You know, they have a happy marriage. Um, they have awesome kids. <laughs> yes, that's the secret. <laughs> so yeah, they're they're very happy people, and that's why they're aging gracefully. So this is their room. Okay. Medyo magulo lang kasi some of the furniture from the den na inaayos we put in here, but they have the best view. They have the view wow. of the garden, so um, this couch is actually, f it's from the den, so my parents get the view of the garden and uh, the view of the Mahiwagang Bato, ang Bato ni Darna. <laughs> wow, indeed best view. Yeah, so there's lots of light in this room and... Um, What's one thing you got from your father? The one thing I got from my father, my father loves to talk and meet new people and he's just a easy to get along with kind of guy and very sociable. Yes, that's this is how I am. I love to meet new people, I mm -hmm. like to make new friends. Um, and I love to live life. My dad loves to live life. How about the uh, one thing na naman mo kay mama mo? Sa mami ko, yung pag pagiging matikiloso. As you can see, medyo pagka-OC ako dito yeah, sa bahay. Yeah, you're into detail. Yeah, my mom is so into detail. And um, creativity. My mom can make a blank space turn into something fantastic. So, I think that's what I got from my mom. Mm -hmm. um, so, we have another painting here which gives oh. some pop. And this painting is uh, by Maylin Quinto. It symbolizes our family. So, Maylin Quinto. This is all the members of our family. So my mom and my dad, mm -hmm. me, my sisters, and my brother. So you have how many sisters? Three sisters and a brother. And a brother. Yeah, so we're a total of five. Five. So she made me this. and I was really ka sa I'm second to the eldest. Yeah, second to the eldest. So she made me, she's made me three actually. Um, I'll show you another one which also has a lot of meaning. It's. It's uh, me and my son. My son and I at my house in Palawan. She took a picture mm -hmm. from my Instagram. It's a picture of my son and I looking into the ocean. And it's a silhouette. Mm -hmm. And she painted it. So wow. I'll show you guys. It's right here. Another female painting. Oh God, yes. Beautiful. This one's beautiful talaga. Um, Dominic Ginon. Amazing. So you like classic furniture and mix it with abstract? Yeah, Art pieces. I just I just like to mix and match things. Right. And, um, How about I, this one? Oh, this is the. This is me and my son. Okay. My, my son and I looking out into the ocean, so she made this for me and gave it to me as a gift, which was very nice of her. Um, best thing about being a father. The best thing about being a father. Dame. There's also some bad things, <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's just it just makes you feel so proud. Um, seeing him from turning into a child, into a man, he's there, he's, he's about to cross that line already. Um, and it's just nice to see them, you know, um, creating their own paths. And uh, I guess it's, it's, it's something you really can't describe. Anything they do, whether they fail or they succeed, you're still proud, still makes you proud. Because if they fail, at least they had the courage to try. So that makes you it makes you very proud. Is Austin also into sports? Yes, he plays rugby. He's very good at badminton. And um, he's getting better at frisbee. So, But his passion wow. really is badminton and rugby. So let's go check All out right. his room, guys. I see your Christmas tree there. It's right? up, yes. It's slowly getting there. 
we got to, you know, even though 2020 has been crazy, mm -hmm. um, we got to enjoy the Christmas season, right? What's your favorite thing about Paskong Pinoy? Um, dame. It's just really a time where all, everyone in the family gets together. Completo. I've never missed a Christmas with my family. It's my time to actually, from all the sacrifice that I've done throughout the years, at sa taping, sa shooting, sa other mga commitments ko, pag Pasko, walang mintis yan. The family has to be together. Mm -hmm. So, um, this year again, lahat kami magsasama sama, um, except for my sisters. One is in Mindanao. She just gave birth, um, and my other sister is in Australia. But I have to be with my parents. Yes, so they're gonna be I there. agree. Can you tell us something about that? So I had Jingoy Buen Suceso design me a handrail because wow. my my mom and my dad, when they decide to take up. You know, go up the stairs. They keep holding onto the glass, and na awa na ako sa mga kasambay ko kasi it just leaves fingerprint marks. So linis sila na linis. Okay. So sabi ko, how can I help them? But I want it to look good. So we came up with this. Yes. So dito may mahahaw akan na parents ko. Mahahaw akan ma pero maganda. Yes. <laughs> okay, where are we now, Derek? We're on the second floor. This is the level where all the rooms are. So you have the room of my nephew, the room of my son, my gym slash extra room. Um, and of course, my, my, my master bedroom. The master bedroom in all the homes that I make, uh, the door has to be wider than all the others. So this is a bit bigger from, than the other doors, but all of them are very, very high. Yeah, I, okay. So, come in, come in, right, come in. All right, we're ready. Wow. So we're here in my master bedroom. Um, it's very manly, I think. Mm -hmm. But again, like, like with all the work that I do, if I decide that I'm really, really lazy, I want to just lie down in bed all day. I want it to be in an area where talagang anywhere I look is like I'm just really gonna chill. So I have my bed, I have this very comfortable Togo couch, and I have my Ogawa massage chair, which is my, my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> This is my baby, hindi ako iiwan nito. So every night uh, before going to bed, I, I spend maybe 30, 45 minutes on this thing to just relax my body and then I'll go to sleep. So this is what provides me a good, good night's rest. What time do you usually wake up? Grabe, now. I know, dahil sa edad, pero... I'm up, like this morning, nakakatawa nga. This morning I was up at 5.30. Wow. Early riser. So I, I woke up, got changed to go play golf, and sabi ko, okay, pipikit muna ako. Higa lang ako ng mga five minutes. Paggising ko, wala na yung golf. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi na ako nakapunta, so I took off my outfit and I decided to just sleep um, for the rest of the morning. How do so, you chill at night? Netflix and chill. Okay, what was uh, the last Netflix series or movie you saw? The Ripper. Okay. The Ripper. It, it's really interesting because my dad was a, a policeman for Scotland Yard. Mm -hmm. So this was the time, about the time where I was born, there was a psychopath killer who would kill prostitutes, just like the famous Jack the Ripper. Okay. And um, he went on a killing spree throughout um, England, started in Leeds, then ended up going into Manchester and, and all over. So I even talked to my dad. I go, Dad, did you hear, did you know about that? And he goes, of course. I even looked and helped into that case. So it was pretty cool to just be able to watch. Now you know your dad was a part of it, right? Wow, so cool. Pretty, I mean, not cool that people were dying, Yes, but, but that's already history. So yep. that's been done and they caught the guy. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really interesting to see that you know, my dad was helping out on that case. Okay. So, so we Favorite into, movie characters you did? Favorite? Oh, I did. Oof. Wow. I really liked my character in the movie All of You. It showed how real relationships really are. Um, diba? There's the honeymoon stage, there's the stage na gaaway, there's the stage na are we gonna save this relationship ba? Or are we going to go separate ways? So I, I really liked that because it was really real. It wasn't your normal matinee idol kind of guy. You, show, you showed your flaws na. Talaga ang mga couples and um, I, I felt that, that that role was so real so I was able to how do you prepare for a character I make sure that I don't um, 
do the same thing I did with my last character. So okay. if I have a role, I watch the last movie. That's If it's got a similar feel, I watch mm -hmm. my last movie and make sure that I don't have the same mannerisms and stuff like that. So. All right. We're here now uh, in my... Uh, this is where I get prepared for all my events. This is where I get my haircut because I'm buhok na talaga ako. See, as you can see, I'm buhok. Wow, na ako. nice chair. Can you tell us about the chair and, there? Um, I don't know what I'm thinking here. So I, I, I already got this nice walk-in closet. I go, mm. parang may kulang. So it just popped into my head. You know, may book na ako ngayon. What if I get a nice vintage barber's chair? Wow. I'm like, pwede, sige. And then I looked, yung mga porcelain, ang mga mahal. So I was like, what if I get a gold one? And I just did some research and I found one. And voila, it's here. And I think it... Nice combination, Looks, black and gold, like Lord uh, Laurent. Yes. I see the Lord Laurent products, Derek. Oh, see? This is the whole lineup of products that I I use all of them, huh? All of them. And I've seen a drastic change in my um, skin tone. I look a lot younger. Okay, and what's the best thing about the Lord Laurent products? Um, well, for me, they take care of your skin from the outside and from the inside. Okay. So. You have all these products that, uh, well, you have the facial wash, which I really, really love. Mm -hmm. And then you have the intense whitening toner. After you use the whitening toner, at night you can use the whitening cream. And if you're going out and it, you go under the, you know, the UV rays and, and all of that, these, these two products protect you and give you that classy um, Korean look, artista look finish. I was like, bakit ang ganda ng mga balat nila? All right. Now I know. Do you why. watch K drama? Yeah, I try. Okay. I try. <laughs> I'd rather support our own. Okay. Um, but yeah, I understand now why all of them have like perfect skin. And when I put this on, it, it gave me that perfect skin look. And once a week, I use the, the face mask, which also not just makes your skin good, it just really relieves you from stress. And it's, good for hydration. Yes. And how this about that one? is the magic one, collagen. This is when you get older, you lose collagen, and um, um, it's not just for your skin. Actually, collagen is good for your hair, for your nails, and your joints, which is why I really take it because I have I've got so much mileage already on my joints from all the different sports that I play. So. Collagen is really, really important to me. And the bonus is it makes you look better too. So. Yep. Derek, what's your advice for people who say that skincare is only for women? That's crazy. You know, that's, that's nuts. Men should take more pride in uh, taking care of their skin. Um, that there's nothing bad about that. That doesn't make you less of a man. I'm, I'm a man and I really, really like to take care of my skin because it makes you look presentable. It makes you... Um, it gives you more confidence. Of course, if you have nice radiant skin, you're gonna feel like so much better for uh, 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 better of yourself. So, um, take care of your skin. We all age, so these products will definitely, you know, slow down the process. Um, and it's working for me. I'm 44, and I always get compliments. Nah, I don't look. You don't 44. look like 44. Like I can pass as somebody in my 30s. So I'm like, wow. Cool. You know, so take care of your skin, guys. Yes, they say uh, life begins at 40. What can you say about that? Uh, true, true. Um, there wasn't a big difference from 25 mm -hmm. to about 35. It was all a feeling out process for me. And then when I hit 40, I was just content. Na parang I know where I want. I know what I want to do with my life. I know where I'm going. Um, I know my priorities. And um, when you're 40, and if you've uh, put in the work, you're gonna have a stable life and a content life. I'm, I'm not a greedy guy, so uh, I'm very content already with my life. I'm very, very happy. I think you can see, yeah, of course, there's obstacles that you go through and humps in the road, but the important thing is that you get past those humps and don't be afraid of those obstacles, you know, I no agree. matter what people say. I agree. Any advice to your 25 year old self? Uh, Hey man, you're gonna be fine. So just just do what you do because mistakes are the best lessons. So you you learn from your mistakes. Keep up, keep your head up high, um, which I did when I was 25. I went through some crazy stuff, but again, my family was there to to lift me up, and I just 
kept on grinding and it pays off. It know? did. That's life, guys. If life was perfect, it would be boring. So you need to have that downs. roller coaster ride. Yep. You know, right? Who doesn't like roller coasters? And that's life. Life is, is, is it's like a roller coaster. There's ups, there's downs. But you can never feel great about being on top if you've never been down there. So I agree. Right? Derek, can you show us some of your uh, attire? What's your go-to? <laughs> my go-to is board shorts and uh, sando and chinelas. That's me. That's my entire personality. Okay. But if I have to get dressed, I, 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 en I enjoy dressing up. So, um, how would I describe so my are you, are fashion you more sense? In, yeah? How about your fashion sense? Um, sleek. Um, I don't like anything like that's overly loud. Um, I like to keep it classic. So, okay. nice tailor fitted suit if it's a formal event um, and if it's semi-formal I like to dress up like with the manly maybe rugged jeans and a nice um, not the man fitted but tailored uh, polo shirt you know but usually I really like to be in shorts and a t-shirt or even like like something like this it, so, so something uh, which is comfy yeah okay yeah and I think if you're comfortable in in, in the attire that you're in it's gonna look good. I agree. Diba? If you're, you got all these branded clothes on, but hindi ka naman comfortable sa sinasuot mo, it's not going to look good. Totoo diba? naman. So this is my panic room, guys. Okay, what's the panic room? I don't know. I don't know why I built a panic room, <laughs> but so it's got this dummy wall. Um, Wala naman akong kaaway. Yep, yep. But I guess this is where I want to put all my, you know, like my passports yes. and stuff like that just to be safe. Um, but right now, it's my stock room. Wow, LLIC products. Yeah, I have a lot, see? Yeah, you sure do love the products. I think that proves that I use it, guys. Yep, I really, yep, really do. do. And we'll go into the bathroom and I'll show you yung mga half-empty products. Na, Sige nga, patingin. Oh, makikita niya yan. I'll show you guys. Here another art piece, local artist. Wow. Ari. Okay. This guy, amazing. This is an amazing story. He um, discovered his talent over COVID. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, this uh, is a new. Yes. He gave this to me, um, saying that my life is like Peter Pan. So you can see Peter Pan there and the child praying. And now he's doing so well. He has his own exhibit, and ang gamit lang jan uling. Wow. Sobrang talent. So, makikita nyo ha. Where is Ayun? See? Teka lang. May mga ano pa ako dito. But, it's a mess. Pero here, I use the cleansing foam. That's my entire process. My toothbrush shouldn't be there. Kakaligo ko lang kasi. But, you will see. Where is my ano? Oh, I have. Wow. Have. Is that your favorite? And then here, you will see my ah, see. They're cleansing foam or toner. I use the cleansing foam, then I use the toner. So the yan, walang mintis yan. Okay. So ito once a week ako. I use this once a week. The mask. Yeah, this really really feels good. Yung excess nga ginagamit ko pa dito sa arms ko, so para hindi sayang because it's so good. Um, so yeah, sorry my bathroom's a mess because I just finished taking a shower, but. Yan. Nakita nyo, ginagamit ko talaga. I see you have also a collection of caps. Yes, I, I used to collect caps when I was uh, younger and I tried to get rid of most of them. This used to be like 10 times more. Really? Yeah, and I got over my collection of caps. But these are mostly caps from, uh, from my golf. Because in the golf course, you're under the sun mm -hmm. for like six, six hours. So it's important that you wear a cap for protection. And... Um, most of my caps are actually golfing caps. Right. So. And I see really good looking leather shoes. Are those custom made? Um, some of them are, yes, which I help design. Um, really? Again, you design your own shoes? Yes, I show you which one. It's with this company called Godfather, local from Marikina, and they make world class shoes. No joke. Yes, so this, the Marikina Craftsman. Yes, this is one of the shoes that I designed and they cool. made. It's called the Godfather. Mm -hmm. um, little detail of a red or 
maybe burgundy stitching there. Um, I like little details yeah, yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And for the not so formal, I have this one. It's another Godfather shoe. It's like a very nice different color. color, right? Diba? I like it. So you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with shorts. This is a very casual shoe. Another one. Let's go for the brown one. Where did I put that brown one? Uh huh. I should know this. Where are you? Where are you? Ah, here. So this is my rugged personality, wow. naman. Cool. Diba? Jeans, leather jacket. Speaking of Godfather, favorite action movie? Action movie. Wow. My favorite action movie would probably be, well, The Godfather. Mm -hmm. Godfather, because my favorite actors are um, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Those are my two favorite. But my favorite movie of all time is Shawshank Redemption. I know I don't know if you're too familiar with that, but Shawshank is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, one one of the best movies. Never. I cried in that movie. I think we all do. <laughs> Again, here Very, is a okay, another unique painting from Hamilton Sulit. So um, it lights up. It's called the Night Crawler. Okay. Um, it's just so different that. I said, wow, I need to have this. I haven't seen anything like it. So for me, it's like a woman na nakaposas or naka big te. Ano mm -hmm. big te ba? Ano? Mm -hmm. With cops, right? Yeah. yeah. So tied up here and she's naked. That's what I see. I don't know, maybe because I have so many naked other women in this <laughs> house. But yeah, that's something that I, I, I was very proud of um, when I got this and I said, this has to be in my room. This has to be in my room. Yeah, and then the detail on my bed, again, that's Jingoy Buen Suceso. See, I, I, I like detail everywhere. Yes. And this is just amazing. Um, it took them a long time to install. What is, what is it made of? Marine wood. Okay. So each wood was wow. handcrafted by him. Yeah. It's not done by a machine, and um, it took. And to achieve those texture and those. Yeah, uh, I think he's the, the three D. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's coming out, the right? mm -hmm. And when you're sleeping, when you look up, it's kind of trippy. Wow. But um, at night, when the light hits it, it's just it's just beautiful. It kind of gives me you know, the feeling of um, being in the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Derek, when. When, uh, when the pandemic is all over, uh, where do you want to go for adventure? I want to go to my house in Palawan. I miss it so much already. I love nature. I love, I love being by the water. And there's a reason why I built in a place where, like, just far away from everybody else. I, I like meeting new people, Deba, but sometimes I just want to be alone with my family. And that's why I have that house. Um, where in Palawan? San Vicente. There's, it's off the grid. Um, no electricity down there. It's, the house is self-sufficient, and it's in the middle of nowhere. But cool. you wouldn't believe that there's a house there. San Vicente has the longest. Yeah, that's Long Beach, but yes. I'm far away from Long Even Beach. Even far away. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm far away from civilization. <laughs> like so I'm, the I'm right on the beach. Likod ko bundok, sa kanan ko bundok, sa kaliwa ko bundok, and then ocean in front of me. So. God, perfect. Um, yeah, it's just every time we're there. We tell it, don't have too much fun because if somebody gets hurt, we're far away from a hospital or anything Major like that. So yeah. be smart, enjoy, relax, and um, that's the first place I'll definitely go. Oh yeah, I understand. Okay. Eric, I see your family photos here. Yes, mom and dad. Um, that's was them. This? this was about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And this was with me and my son. Oh That's my Austin. God, ang totoy pa niya dito. Super. This How was in old Dubai. Is Austin, now? Austin is now 17. I wow. think he was maybe 13 in this photo. And I still had the shaved head look, the original Derek look. But yeah, I think I, he was around 13 here. 13 Anong naman na sa'yo ni Austin? Ay, grabe, sobrang competitive. 
like ay magpatalo. Mm -hmm. So he's really skinny, but mm -hmm. he beats guys three times his size in arm wrestling. Okay. And then you know some of them na tatalo siya pero ayo talaga magpatalo. Like he let his arm break. Okay. Instead of accepting <laughs> defeat, so. What do you um, tell him? I tell him you have to accept defeat sometimes. You know, um, if 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 you break your arm, then you won't be able to compete. Take the loss. Go work out. Go back and beat him. Yep. So, um, but he really got that attitude from me. Na talagang competitive. When you compete, you give two hundred percent. Yeah. Aside from sports, what else uh, do you guys bond with? Well, I, we I don't say we bond with because I'm so anti the new gadgets and, and gaming and all of that. But he's a big gamer and I don't like it. But it's his passion, so I have to support him. Um, and it's really a big thing now, the right? The esports. Yep, yep. So he's into that. I don't believe it's no offense to you guys, but for me, kasi it's that's I don't want to call it a sport, but um, it is very popular now. It's very competitive, and there are so many kids making so much money on it. Actually, malaking pera. And um, yeah, they say it's the the next big thing. Yes, it is. I believe. I believe so. Um, but so you try esports? It's like it's like how I don't know how you can say they're athletes though. Anyway, I, I don't want to insult anyone with that. But um, much respect. He's very good at it, and if cool. that's what he wants to do, I'll support him. You know, supportive yeah. father. You okay. have to be. <laughs> you can't force what you know. We're we're different people. I, I, he can't do the things that I want. It has to be what he wants. So we'll go meet. Austin. Mr. Austin. Are you decent, bad boy? Austin! Come say hi to the camera. So he likes being in the dark. <laughs> so this is his room. It's, uh, as you can see, got lots of color. Did you also design his room? Nope, that's him. Wow. Yeah, he... What's the thing about the... Is it an elephant? The elephant. So Austin, explain the elephant. <laughs> he looks cool and he put some like lights LED lights on it and I think it's bata may taste then. You know, it's a little bit too you know, colorful for my taste, but I think it's really cool too. Yeah. So he loves his games. He's got his supreme classic arcade thing there, but he he's more into online gaming. Um, he's waiting for his PS5. And if he's a good boy, maybe Santa will give it to him. Um, would you give the, the PS5? Would I give? Yeah. If he's a good boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> are you a good boy? Probably. 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 <laughs> no. We already ordered the PS5, so ang tagal lang kasi so many people are really trying to yes, get it. So. Yes. Um, so yeah, this is his room. Um, anything you want to say? <laughs> Camera shy. It's my room. Now get out. Derek, would you allow Austin to try showbiz? That's what he wants to do. Yeah, but it would, I would uh, tell him he'd have to finish his education first. Para meron siyang fallback if it doesn't work out. And if it does work out, his education will play a key role in his success. So um, I think he should definitely finish his education before doing any of that. Yep. Yep. Yep.